Okay guys, so we examined the three methods to design the straight back control law and the last one that uh, I talked in the previous class was the Ackerman formula. Remember that it was uh, determination of the gain matrix K based on based on Ackermann's formula remember in the previous class and I said that the gain is 0 0 0 1 in the controllability matrix B a B a n minus 1 B for nth order system that's right inverse and this was the controllability matrix that's right that you see and you will see in the meter so phi of a that's right and I said that the phi of a phi of a based on the Carol Hamilton gonna be uh, a n plus alpha 1 a n minus 1 plus uh, alpha n minus 1 a plus alpha n i that's right so and how we calculate the alphas as I told you in the previous class so alphas when you have a desirable pulse all eigenvalues of the system by your bus and requirement of your dynamical system hmm, s minus mu n because you have nth order system it's going to give you a polynomial of s n plus alpha 1 s n minus 1 plus finally alpha n so you're going to replace these alpha n here to get the phi right finally with here so, and I sold the example for you in the continuation of the lectures that's right so that's it. when you if when I give you a final exam you have to do by hand but after graduation you are not out of your mind that do with your hand so that's why here MATLAB is gonna help you a lot MATLAB that's right let us continue our example so our system was x dot LTI system was x dot was let me see okay, in my okay zero two zero 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 one minus one minus three minus four third order system in x plus bu single input single output system. So this is your B matrix vector, this is your A matrix, 3 by 3, so you're going to have your X is, you have three state variables, X1, X2, and the X3, right? Let's see what's recording, hmm? yeah. So, and as we discussed, your boss said, uh, your boss said so your boss said that I want to have for this third order system as we discussed a lot these poles are like in values that was oops hold on guys so here we go so this one was minus one minus j a the pair of complex conjugate poles are like in values and the s3 was minus five and we discussed why your boss wanted you to get such a uh, desirable poles or again values based on the under dap system and so I discussed in the previous class so so you have mu1 mu2 and mu3 the desirable poles remember that we name this process we name this process as pole what placement so we got that okay so in the MATLAB, we have a command using the Ackerman formulas that I taught you a theory. Now you know the theory of the Ackerman formula to calculate the, the gain matrix. It says, you provide to me a matrix 
B matrix and the J okay J is set of your desirable poles or again values mu1 mu2 and the mu n okay provide this to me so using this formula in MATLAB k is uh, acker uh, a b and j or place i'm going to talk about this a b and j huh you can get the gain after graduation very easy let us do that for example let me connect this to its pad okay so i open the the uh, the math lab and now let me give you with the simplest example that i can have so the simplest example suppose is you have example by math lab you're designing the state feedback control law okay suppose that your boss says you have a second order system of 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 hmm? and x plus 0 1 in u this is your x a and this is your b sorry what's example of that the simplest example is this guys hmm? suppose you have a spring and a damper here right so m k and the c and you're applying a force here massive spring and damper i have taught this a million times in the undergraduate control of vibration courses f of t right so if you derive the equation of motion of this and see the displacement of the mass obviously it is m x double dot this is from undergraduate dynamics minus c x dot minus k x plus f of t that's right huh so we're gonna have m x double dot plus c x dot plus k x is equal to f of t or external force or control force u u that's right see here u so now if you assume if you transfer it because it's the linear time varying uh, time invariant system this is lti system that's right this is a linear differential equation and time invariance right so saying that um, x1 is x and the x2 is x dot that's right from here you get x dot one is x dot which is x2 and the x dot 2 is equal to minus minus c over m that's right so x dot 2 is x double dot that's right x double dot is minus k over m oh sorry let me rewrite it c over m x dot x dot is what x2 minus k over m x which is x1 plus u so you see that state space equations of this mass swimming and damper becomes x dot one is x two and the x dot two is minus c over m x two minus k over m hmm, x one plus u now i assume that the m is one for god's sake k is one and the c is two huh? Huh? these are the numbers that i assigned for example so if i do that you can write this as this as matrix form x dot one x dot two right now this x one x two this line has only x one uh, sorry x two so zero one zero x two this line has this minus k over m 1 over 1 1 minus x1 minus x1 minus 2x2 plus bu single input single output u 
that's right because this appears on the second line second line so you see that this is a, a state specific equations of mass spring and damper CISO system right so now I'm telling you uh, I'm telling you that I want uh, these uh, I want these uh, new one I want to be minus one minus one uh, plus J and mu two is minus one minus J I'm a bus I'm saying that design a controller for me using the state feedback that has this dominant and desirable pole that I get out of the system right because it makes your system what you tell me under damp system under damped that's right hmm? so you're gonna say in MATLAB after graduation okay not in uh, not in uh, not in the final exam okay you're gonna say acker a b and j what is a you have it here this is a and the b and the j is you have to write as the desirable poles here we go when you type this and push the enter button it can give you the gain matrix let's do that together huh in matlab by this example we're gonna have a is equal to you have to type it by the hand huh? a is 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 exactly as I type here see here guys minus 1 minus 2 0 1 and B is 0 and 1 here we go. so this is your a let me show it to you see what is that yeah. this is your a that's right and your b is 0 and 1 here we go this is your b and i'm saying that the desired poles that you want to design for the system is a pair of complex conjugate poles 1 plus i or j minus 1 minus i or j that's right exactly that we wrote here see that okay there we go let me change this see exact I typed here so because in MATLAB I and J they, are, they have the same definition it's a uh, imaginary number I uh, square root of minus 1 or J is the square root of minus 1 here we go okay now we're gonna say K gain matrix is Acker Acker Ackerman that's right Acker A B and J that's it Bingo, it gives you one and zero. So you see that this MATLAB gives you this one and zero. This game. Okay? Or you can use this command instead of acker because this is pole placement topic. That's, not, that's right, I'm teaching you place. Again, one and zero. So you see that simply, let me write it here. You design your state feedback control of all system is minus kx, or you're gonna have one zero in x1 and x2. Here we go. We design the controller for the system that give us this desirable pole so under the damp system. Let us try the math level coding, huh? Uh, let us do that. No, I, will, I will do another example of higher order systems. So here we go. I'm gonna have uh, so a function, okay? Function uh, uh, dx, I say, is equal to say um, mass spring damper, just a name, time and uh, x, okay, state variable, and I say dx is zeros I have to create a space of two of two and one okay as I told you so you're gonna say um, you're gonna say now you have to type it here okay 
uh, you're gonna say 441 then your a is 0 1 let's try it. minus 1 oops minus 1 minus 2 your b is 0 1 1 let's try it. your j these are our poles are minus 1 plus i minus 1 minus i huh? then you're gonna say gain matrix that you use it by the MATLAB or Ackerman for final by hand by after graduation by MATLAB it's gonna be Acker huh? Acker A B and J huh? I'm gonna show it so then you're gonna write it DX1 oops DX1 as you have in the state space these equations guys I'm just typing here I'm just typing in the MATLAB okay DX1 is uh, X2 that's right and DX oops DX2 is minus uh, X1 that's right minus 2 X2 huh? minus 2 X2 plus U plus control input to the system but before this you have to say u is now state feedback minus gain that you obtained here here we go sorry by Ackerman formula this formula multiplied by what multiplied by x1 and x2 here we go sorry look at here guys as i wrote here, here we go minus k that you calculated x1 and x2 okay so so this is what we have here hmm? let me double check everything here minus 1, minus one minus 2 0 okay. x2 x2 okay so this is that so we have so we have to save this huh? save this as exactly with the same name here see here with the same name here with this name MSD so I'm gonna put on the ME696 okay then I have to solve this uh, so I'm gonna say T and uh, Y output of the system total time gonna be uh, ODE45 okay solver at at means co and call what msd msd and uh, time between 0 and uh, 0.1 to 10 uh, and the initial guess is uh, for this system is 0 and 0 hmm? no let me say it is uh, it is um, Point 0.3 and uh, minus point 0.1 because because we want to send back system to the origin that's right I'm gonna teach non-zero reference trajectory but uh, set point but this will send it back there so and now figure one I'm gonna plot all the t and uh, x1 which is all columns on the first uh, all rows on the first column and the blue that that is okay i'm gonna say grid and the x label hmm? x label is gonna be time in second and the y label is gonna be what x1 here we go huh let me first run it. We'll save it. Uh, solver of MSD. Huh? Where here? M E six ninety six. Here we go. Let me develop it first. Yeah, let's run it. See? Okay. It says when you're starting from this initial condition of point three, this massive spring and damper. Look at here, guys. Let me show it physically. It says that. I stretch it to here 0.3 meters then I'm going to design a controller that 
on the damp in on the damp fashion return it to a zero and zero here is zero and zero that's right when i say to the origin it physically means here is zero it's three lengths of the spring and number zero and zero understand this is physics of the system controller depends on the realities not the abstract uh, concept recording yeah okay so you see that it has a kind of under dam system and goes to zero to origin okay but now let us see what was the originally let me delete this so originally the system was was like this look at you guys i'm saying uh originally system has no had no controller we're just releasing from that point three meters and uh, the system was well like this okay so i have to increase it to four and i'm gonna say here is x3 this is original system please do it at home with me okay and the four is gonna be three it's gonna be four so i'm writing here so look at here this is commented this is uncontrolled controlled massive spring and damper huh? but this is controlled massive spring and damper and save it understand so now this is for again the same conditions I'm, I'm, I'm releasing because you have four state variable you have to have four uh, you have to have four initial conditions so now y1 as you see your x1 is for the control system x3 is for uncontrolled system so i'm gonna plot it versus blue line is for the control system and the red line is for uncontrolled system here we go and i'm saying it's i because that's it now let us see difference between them see guys uncontrolled system has a critically damp and a slower response than the ardent under damp system you see by the state that control law i modify the transient response of the system that's right trans response of the system hmm? so this is how we improve our system performance understood so if i want to plot uh, the phase portrait that you have to know this phase portrait means you have to plotting i taught you the velocity of the system versus the displacement of the system or the, the rate of temperature of the system versus temperature of the system or rate of pressure of the system versus pressure of the system so you have to say is plot y uh y one uh-huh versus y um y2 so x axis is x and x dot and this is blue okay and uh, uh, and we're gonna plot three versus four for uncontrolled system gonna be r and uh, greet huh figure two let us see what happens see the the red is the for control uh, is the is the is the for the um, uh, uncontrolled system see that but the blue is for the control system and showing the under damp behavior and we want to do that because why because of you boss said i want to have an under damp system this is desirable pose argument of the system and using the Ackerman formula you got the gain matrix putting here and this is the control input to the system you got it so as you see here k is one and zero automatically calculates clear guys hmm? now if i your boss says you know what this is good but they have more under damn behavior with tuning the peak of the system or overshoot you're gonna say okay you want to have them overshoot or these kind of things so well, you, you boss said i want to have much faster system than this i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna change it to this i'm just giving you an example okay let's do this 
you see now the system is much faster is much faster guys the system the blue one is much faster than the previous one why because i increased the real part of the pose see three minus three because the real part of the pose as i taught on the graduate control and vibration goes to a transient response of that right uh, to the i'm sorry to the exponential term so it exponential i'm gonna uh, vanish much faster so you can play with the, your desirable pose and your values to change the system behavior okay even that i change it to i don't know so this is seven huh see look at here when i was three you reach it to zero the origin that you want to go is two seconds now if i increase it you're gonna get there right here oh at almost one second so you can play with your desired poles to get faster or slow responses you see? so even in this case if you increase the damp natural frequency which is i say is 2i because this the, the coefficient of i is the damp natural frequency remember from vibration and control so here we go here we go okay the damn natural frequency of the system okay so we can play with it so now let me do another example okay this is second order system suppose you have uh, you have uh, this system for example uh, here we go You have x dot is 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, uh, minus 2, um, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, Mm, minus one minus three uh, minus three uh, and here must be zero zero and minus three suppose you have this system guys x this fourth order system and b u so b zero zero one hmm be you suppose you have this system. single input single output system huh? so I want to now design K what you're gonna do again you just have to type it here sorry first of all before going there guys I do recommend in your code you type the controllability metrics okay Controllability matrix was con control controllability matrix. Remember, this was the command M. Controllability matrix. So because uh, here you A and B they are changing. That's right. Uh, let me change it. Your A and B. Uh, let me do this. Out. Okay. Your A was one zero zero zero. What was the rest? Minus one, minus one, minus one, zero. Minus one, minus two. Minus one, zero. Hmm. And here was zero, 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 on one. And here was uh, minus one, zero, minus minus one, zero, minus three, minus three. Huh? And your B is zero, 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 one. Huh? So controllability matrix, I'm not doing with this. I just want to take them out, okay? I want to do something with them. So controllability matrix of A and B, see here guys. So let me do it all of them. See? If I say controllability matrix of this is this, remember? You have to do by hand or after graduation you have to do by what? By the MATLAB so if you if i say rank of m 
it's gonna be full so it says that your system is controllable it says your system is controllable so first you have to check that remember so now and now I'm gonna say I have I want to have desirable response of minus 1 plus 2i minus 1 minus 2i because you have fourth order system you have to have four poles of eigen values minus 5 and minus 10 I want that you judge now I tell you why I selected these values why I selected minus 5 minus 10 with respect to these real part of this okay, I taught you already again you're calculating this but now you have four state variables guys x3 and x4 that's right x3 and x4 so and these are the I have to change everything because here we go because you do have okay x dot one is x two x dot two here look at here based on this is minus x one minus two x two minus x three that's right there's no x four x dot three is x four based on this matrix matrix a i'm developing guys and here minus x one there's no x two minus 3x3 that's right minus 3 in x4 this is exactly plus your u is here plus u here we go okay your u is here on the other hand we are controlling x3 that's right we are controlling x3 understand so now by having those and uh, here I'm gonna say hmm, uh, 0 and point 0.4 and 0 okay and now I'm plotting x1 and x3 okay do you mind yeah x1 x3 so if I plot them there we go so this blue is what this is for the x3 that's right x3 and the red is sorry red is x3 and the blue is what for x1 but i'm controlling this red one that's right so i asked the system look at here guys nothing is magic i asked that i want to have more frequency because two is greater than one here that's right so if I decrease it to 0.5, see here, everything gonna change. Look at here, guys. Here we go. Whoops, you see? Everything gonna change. Huh? You see here? So if I say, if I say, just make it one, one eye and one eye and under down system here we go see no the both are fine the both are kind of well it is under down system but because they are coupled the x1 the blue one is going to be affected by the motion of the x2 because this is coupled dynamical equation understand clear so and uh, this is this topic okay i'm gonna teach you memo soon based on these examples but this is CISO. i just want that teach you the CISO. it's recording yeah so the next class now we know that we designed the state feedback control law that takes your state variables to the origin zero as you saw in the map but what happens if you want to control temperature of a room that must be 75 Fahrenheit or you want to in the cruise system of your car you want to use a cruise system and uh, make your car to has a speed of 
I don't know, 6 to 5 miles per hour in the highway. And it's actually happening every day. You are using the cruise system of your car, which is not zero, non zero set point. So the next class, I'm going to teach you controller design when the plant or system whatever it is it's room it's car it's airplane has an integrator as an integrator with none zero reference input to follow reference input to follow like what like your reference input desirable temperature is 75 degree of Fahrenheit or the speed of your car is 75 mile per hour or pressure of the tank desire I don't know is 100 five megapascal to tip whatever it is okay so non-zero reality okay so we're gonna design this and we're gonna do that in matlab at the same time i'm gonna stop here guys